Hi and welcome to a new MIDI editing tutorial. I'm Lukas Ruschitzka, composer and Studio One specialist. In this video, we'll take a look at moving notes with their respective automation data, such as pitch bend, mod wheel, sustain pedal, or any other MIDI CCs. Here I have little melody. I really love how it sounds, but this note is slightly too early. The melody sounds a bit rushed to my ears. So what I need to do is move this note a bit to the right. What I typically do is I use the from event to end command to select all notes from this note to the end of my MIDI part. The shortcut for this is shift plus alt plus end or shift plus option plus end on Mac. And now I can just move the note and all following notes to the right. Now, of course, the problem is that my automation does not get moved as well. And the automation really needs to be in sync with the notes because as you can see here, I have used MIDI CC3 to switch from the normal subtle vibrato to the expressive vibrato. And this change needs to happen before this note starts to play Otherwise, it wouldn't be played with the expressive vibrato. So here's the option that will do exactly what I want. That's this button here in the toolbar. Select part automation with notes. This option is available in Studio One 4 or later. So if you're still using Studio One 3, that's definitely a reason to upgrade to version 5 because when I turn on this option and I select the note, you see what happens. All automation under this note is going to be selected as well. So if I select this note, these points will be selected. Or if I select this one, these both points will be selected. And that means that I can move these notes with the automation. And that's exactly what I want in this case. So if I select this note and I press my Shift plus Alt plus N shortcut to select everything to the right, all notes and also the automation is selected and I can now move the note where I want it to be. And of course that's handy as well if you don't use any orchestra libraries this could be just as well a Mai Tai part, just like in this song here where I've used the pitch bend wheel. And of course the pitch bend data needs to be attached to the node. So when I move this node, I also need the pitch automation. So just enable the select part automation with notes option and you're safe. One thing you need to know is that only automation that is currently visible here in the automation lanes is gonna be selected and edited. That's because you might not want to mess up any MIDI CC data that you accidentally might have selected and moved or deleted because you don't even know that something has been edited here. So make sure that the automation you want to edit is visible. Just add new automation lanes and open the tabs. And of course, that's also very useful for piano editing, where you have recorded sustain pedal data as well. If you edit the timing of your notes, make sure to enable the select part automation with notes option to have the sustain pedal data stay with the notes. So that's it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.